Hi, it's Curtis. Right now we're talking about what it means to get your pre-qualification or your pre-approval and what are proof of funds? What is proof of funds? So if you are getting ready to buy a home, you want to try to find a good real estate agent. So you want to do your homework and either find somebody that you know or get a reference from somebody that you know about somebody these watching the commercials and use this big uh, box store real estate agent those usually aren't my preference you want to get a reference on somebody that you know or choose somebody that you know personally but anyway getting past that getting to what's called proof of funds so proof of funds is what you have to show when you put in an offer to buy a property so if you're going to buy a property, you say to your real estate agent, you say, okay, you showed me the house. I really like it. They're asking $300,000 for the house. I want to put in my offer and let's put a full price offer in. Let's put it in at $300,000. So your real estate agent should already have asked you, do you have your prequal is what we call a prequalification in the real estate business. So a prequal or prequalification is a letter that is generated by your lender. So again, you don't want to go online and try to find one of the big, huge, oversized banks, because in my opinion, those are the ones that don't give the best possible service that you could want. In your real estate transaction, you want to use a local mortgage company. There are so many benefits to a local mortgage company. I'll get into that in another video if you ask me to. But you want to use a local mortgage company, find your lender, and then you're going to deal with your loan officer. So once you've selected your loan officer, you tell your loan officer, I need you to generate for me a pre-qualification letter. So that pre-qualification letter, also known as a pre-qual, is created by the lender asking you questions over the phone. So that lender is going to want to know what your DTI ratio is, DTI, debt to income. How much debt do you have? Like what's your rent every month? How many credit cards do you have? What's the total amount of balances you're paying? So these are all your debts. And then what's your income? How much do you make per week, per month, per year? So then we make a ratio of your debt to income. And that DTI determines what kind of a deal you get on your financing. So you want to have good credit if you can. Don't be crazy with your credit cards. So you're going to have a question. You're going to have a question and answer back and forth with your loan officer. And your loan officer will ask you these questions, and then he or she will say, please send me over pay stubs from the last four weeks of your job. So you'll take photocopies and scan them or fax them, do whatever you need to do, and you'll send over copies of your pay stubs and maybe your, your 1099 or your W-2 from the last two years. So those are the pieces of information that your loan officer will want to put together a quick profile on you. But sometimes they don't even ask for those pieces of information. They'll just say, how much do you owe and how much do you make? And once they have your DTI, your debt to income ratio, they'll spit out a number and say, based on what you've told me, you make $4,000 a month and you spend $1,900 a month. You're a good risk. So based on what you've told me, I'm going to pre-qualify you. That's why they call it a pre-qual or a pre-qualification letter. I'm going to pre-qualify you for up to $325,000. You can spend that much. So now you're going to place your offer on a home that costs $300,000. And you say to your real estate agent, here's my prequal letter. It's usually a PDF. So you email over a PDF of your prequalification letter. You give that to your buyer agent. And then the agent says, here's the contract for you to sign. So you look at all the information. It's got today's date. We're making this offer of $300,000 on this property at this address. And we send that contract. It's known as the contract to purchase real estate, also known as the offer. It's known as both things. Oh, here's my offer. Oh, here's my contract to purchase real estate. It's usually just called the offer. So we email over to the listing agent. The listing agent is the selling agent who's selling the property. So we email over to that selling agent, to the listing agent, a copy of your prequal, which is your letter from your lender, and a copy of the offer and a few other things. We send over, I'm looking up to my little cheat sheet that's up on the wall. We have to sign a document between the buyer agent 
and the buyer. It's called the mandatory licensee agency disclosure document, which is just mandated by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So we do that, we send over your prequal, then we have to have a picture of your earnest money deposit check. So it's just called your deposits, usually a thousand dollars. So we send all that stuff over. But the point of this little live video was to let you know about getting your prequal. So that's the first thing you want to do before you start hunting for property. And most people get excited and they call a real estate agent and they say, show me these properties. I want to see this property. And now I want this. And now I want to put in my offer, but they don't have their prequalification. So very often, and nobody ever thinks it's going to be them, but very often they'll say, okay, I want this house. It's $300,000. And then we get in touch with a lender and we say, could you generate a prequal? And the lender says you can spend up to, $250,000. And that's the reason you want to get your prequal first. So we recommend that the first thing you do is get in touch with a lender and get your prequalification letter squared away. Then contact your real estate agent and say, show me some houses. Here's my prequal. All right. That's it for now. If you have questions, you can always reach out to me. You can private message me anything to do with real estate buying or selling. Okay. Thanks.